Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Right now, I need you to smash the follow button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome stories. Well, today's story comes to us from Devin and Mateo. Hey guys, they sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com. Send me your idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready to hear a story about a very confusing puppy? Me too, let's go! One day, Roger woke up and stretched his legs. Oh, oh yeah, Roger's actually a dog. <laughs> As he woke up and stretched his back. Have you ever seen a dog stretch all their legs and their back and... Yeah, they're really good at stretching when they wake up from a long nap. And Roger... Oh, I'm hungry. He walked downstairs and yawned. But was very hungry. He came downstairs to eat his food and his bowl was empty. Oh no, where did my food go? He said gruffly. Meow. That was Missy. Missy was another pet that lived at Roger's house. They weren't the best of friends, and Roger always thought Missy was pretty annoying and meowed a lot, but she had food in her bowl. Huh, how in the world would Missy have food and not me? I'm really hungry. I've never eaten cat food before. That would be, that would be absolutely disgusting. That was the sound of Roger's tummy grumbling. He had always thought that cat food was absolutely disgusting, but because of how hungry he was, he started to dream about how good it might actually taste. Well, maybe it's not that bad. You know, it kind of looks like my food. Missy, get out of the way. He butted Missy out of the way with his big head and started gobbling up all of her food. Oh, this is delicious. This is actually way better than I thought. In just a few seconds, all of Missy's cat food was gone. Oh, finally. I feel so much better. What was that sound? Did I just... No, I couldn't have meowed. It must have been Missy, said Roger as he ran outside to the backyard. Hey, Roger, come here, boy. We're going to head over to the dog park, shouted Devin and Mateo. They were going to bring him to his favorite place. Roger loves running with all of his dog friends at the dog park, and he couldn't wait to go play. They jumped in the car and out popped Roger's head out the window. (laughs) Dogs love to ride in the car with their head out the window, right? Yeah, they just love to hear and feel the wind against their floppy ears. And uh, they close their eyes and they love all the smells. (laughs) That's pretty silly. As they drove to the dog park and Roger's head was out the window, he just couldn't wait to go play. Finally, they parked the car and Mateo opened the door and out flew Roger. He was going to go run and run with all of his friends. This is going to be the best day ever, shouted Roger. He saw his friends out in the distance and wanted to call out to them. So he leaned back and opened his mouth to let out a big bark and out came meow. His eyes were as big as donuts. What in the world just came out of my mouth? Let me try again. Meow. Hey, Roger, how's it going? How's it going? said one of his dog friends. Did you hear that? It sounds like there's a cat here. Where would where would a cat be? That was Labby. Labby was a labradoodle and was really full of energy and was really excited to see if there was a cat here. But Roger knew the secret. Oh, <clears throat> no, uh, 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 I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I, di- I didn't hear a cat. Uh, let, let's go play. Roger tried to brush it away and act like it didn't actually happen. He didn't want the whole dog park to know that his bark had somehow become a meow. 
Alright guys, let's play a game of, of catch the biggest stick. Let's all stand underneath this tree and see if we can catch one before it hits the ground. That was Carl. Carl was a big, slow dog with a very big bark. As all the dogs stood underneath that tree, they all looked up and waited for sticks. Hey, Roger. How was your day going? It's been a super duper day for me, and I'm really happy to see you at the park today. That was Beans, the beagle. Beans was a really silly dog who tooted a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing great, Beans. It's good to see you, too. Beans, was that you? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I I ate a lot of beans today, and now I am full of the toots. So just stand back and uh, just look out. Oh, don't worry about that. I will stay definitely far away. Meow. Uh, Roger, d- did you just meow at me? Said Beans. All the dogs stopped and stared at Roger. Uh, uh, I, I don't know... Oh, uh, I don't know what to do, guys. You see, I I ate Missy's cat food this morning. <gasps> you did what? Said Carl. I know I shouldn't have eaten the food, but I was so hungry. And, and now I can't stop meowing. Meow. You better stop doing that before the whole dog park hears, or else they're going to start thinking you're a cat, and you'll be chased... All day long. Hey, Roger, I've done that a hundred times, said Beans. And the only way to fix it is you just have to eat regular dog food, and then the meow will go away. Uh, does anyone have dog food? Shouted Beans. I got some treats over here, said Labby. Labby grabbed a bag of treats and ran over to Roger and dumped him out. Roger gobbled him up and tried to bark. Meow, roof. Meow, roof. Roof, roof. Oh, I feel so much better. The meow's gone, guys, said Roger. And that was the day that Roger almost turned into a cat. (laughs) Well, not really. He just started meowing like one after he ate cat food. (laughs) Well, I hope Roger, I'm pretty sure he learned his lesson that he's never going to steal Missy's food ever again. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to MJ from America, Devin and Aria from Western Australia, Leah and Sam from Ottawa, Canada, Delphine and Ollie from Toronto, Jeremiah from Brighton, Missouri, Ethan from Israel, December and Owen from Maryland, and Autumn from New York. I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family. And on our spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day. (laughs) And I will see you next time. Bye.